last time on Lawful Stupid. And so the rumblings of stones are happening as you run into this maze. You now see in front of you the trophy, the item that you need to get out of the middle to be considered the winner. The stone golem comes through the wall. He reaches down into the earth and he looks at the two of you running, Miss B, back over to William, and throws Dark Ruffalo just as they would hit you. Coming down through the barrier, it shatters. So this figure drops down, cuts away one, smashing it. And this other figure almost mimics you exactly and, and smashing the other stone. I'm Agent Belltoll. I'm here to get you out of here. We got to get to a safe house. As you're running through, you you've got, you see a clear path and suddenly it's gone um, as, as one collapses. But instead of like faltering, you run up it jump backwards onto another one and then continue to simply dart on their backs as you make your way across and you land on the stage from the stage erupts fireworks the giant stops and looks up at it the shield around the maze you see it just kind of turn to like dust after a moment the the fireworks go away and there's kind of just like a dead silence son of a bitch if this is another test the giant reaches in with two hands into the same like pick up more earth and he picks it up overhead and he throws it onto the middle of the stage. As the boulder careens toward the stage, would you all roll again just for... for, uh, Think of everyone yeah, listening. for the listeners, you, definitely. For the listeners, you know, because they probably forgot. Uh, Twelve, 12. 16. 13. Also 13. Oh, man. The boulder is about 10 feet from you. And suddenly, it stops midair. As You're you welcome. look to your right, in the, in the snow, because it has begun to fall into this, this stadium area. There is one of the earthbending druids. And he's laying there, and he's bloodied. But he's looking up at you, head raised and arm raised as his hand shakes. And he's holding this boulder. And he takes, and he throws it back toward the stone giant. Hitting it in the chest. Ooh, knocking it to the ground. And then he collapses. And you're left standing on this stage in the middle of this thing. And you'll notice behind you, um, we'll, we'll, if you're in the stage and you're looking north, south, east, and west, there are openings in each side of the walls that, that is now left of what was the center of the maze. They all lead out. Um, to the north is open. Uh, to the west, kind of where the giant was between the west and the north sector there, uh, is open. To the south, two halflings and three humans walk in. And they also have this these glowing white eyes. To the east are two Goliaths, three elves, and a triton. And they both also have, or they all have, these glowing white eyes. As they look at you, and they, they have like these smiles, just, just barely teeth showing as they look at you. And they sniff. Nope. Nope. Time air, to run away. Let's and go. And begin to walk toward you. Let's go northbound. <clears throat> Nobody's there. Uh, real quick, just where we're running. That's uh, that's where I'll be. Yeah. Uh, uh, no one's gonna make a decision. Great, I run. No, running, North. running northbound. Going. Perfect. Gone. <laughs> Lucian's gonna grab Miss B's hand and activate warding bond and say, "Stay close. Keep running." Um. Beltol's gonna like pause a moment and make sure that she's between the other three and these new assailants and then follow them north. Yeah, okay. I, I think because they're like a, a walking pursuit, you are able to um, get a little distance in between them successfully. And you take out, and as you leave, you leave out the north exit, you said? Yeah, that was the clear yeah. one. Um, perception check for me, everyone. Yeah, sure. Happy to. Sure. I'm really good at this. 
12. It's 12. 18. Good. And, and we'll do it kind of as a group. So like 18 will be for everyone. And you'll you'll um, all kind of, as you're frantic and running out, you see just the snow is littered with, with the color of red. Bodies lay everywhere around you. Debris from the stadium has collapsed. Uh, and it's pretty silent. Um, but you hear, uh, you look up because you're, you're thinking about Dr. Enoch. And he's up on top of this tower. And he says, um, kind of almost in a whisper, but where you can hear he's like, uh, uh, just just keep going. I, I'll, I'll be just fine. And then you see behind you, about 50 feet, all of those figures, the two Goliaths, three elves, the two halflings, and the humans smile still as they pursue you. But they're just like slow walking, right? Yes. Yeah, we run. Fuck these guys. We run. That's a little regular walk, like a mall walk. A little less than a mall walk. Yeah, we're just booking, right? Like the hips yeah. aren't into yeah. it yet. Run. Okay. Run, run, run. So um, and you you run into town, or are you running like a uh, because north to kind of be into town, back up like the trail I'm, you took. I'm following this this new agent that's now. Uh, well, I guess I'm not. I'm following Miss B. Miss B, you tell me where to go. It, north into town. That's as good as we're getting right now. Just away from everything. Mm. Yeah, everyone's mm. frantic in town. People are running everywhere. All uh, shops are, you know, barricading themselves in. Uh, lots of people are just running out of town. Um, everyone who's in town visiting is, is calling it quits. <laughs> they don't care what's going on, and, and they're getting away. Um, so it's frantic. People bumping into you left and right. Uh, people falling down, getting trampled. I mean, L- Lucian is. Yeah, I mean, I, there's no way I don't peel off, right? Like, try to help people. Yeah, uh, and I think you are. Are you, are you saying anybody anybody anything? Or? I mean, no. I, I think he just gets to work. <laughs> Honestly, just. Belto was um at the back of the group so she's gonna notice him peel off I think uh, I think Miss B would just try to regrip his hand to be like no we're leaving come now child they hold hands a lot I feel like she would notice when he tried to slip away <laughs> that's fair he's, 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 well he just can't see most of the time but he's, got, he's bandana now right <laughs> bandana's down right now so uh Yeah, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, I-, I think you're helping people, and um, you begin to feel... Boom. Boom. Steps. Uh, things are vibrating. Um, bricks are kind of like falling out of houses that have been maybe hit by stones, whatever the case might be. If you look in the distance, you'll see down the hill as you come back up the slope that the stone giant has re- has regained him his composure. Uh, and then also around him are all of those figures that have begun to pursue you as they're coming up the hill into the town. Uh, Agent uh, Beltor, you obviously came here for us. Um, so uh, you had a plan, of course. To get us out of here. Yeah, well, it's pretty obvious those things are following you, isn't it? Uh, staying in town is not the best chance if you want to help them, looking at Lucian as she says that. Okay, then let's go anywhere else. Yeah. So are you actually going to follow me this time? Yes. Uh, lead the way, coach. <laughs> She's going to turn and lead them out into the wilderness outside of town. Mm-hmm. Are the things following you? You know it's cold out there, right? That's not a problem. Okay, that's fine. Just me. Are the things following us? Yeah, she us? just kind of like gives they're, him like a They're coming eye. into town. So <laughs> if, if you guys are leaving town, um, you do not see them following you. What you hear, though, is is the screams of, of men, women. Hmm. I'm children. back in town, dude. No. I, bye. It, it, as soon as we started to move, if they weren't following us, I'm... No. Yeah. I'm, I'll go fight them. Okay. I'm uh, not going to let... People, innocent people get killed. You you get back into town and oh right, here's what here's what I'm gonna here's what I'm gonna do. This is what I want to do. I want to 
I, I, this is a little technique. You may know this um, from one Krillin, the greatest fighter in the Z Warriors lineup. I know I'm going to go for a solar flare, my friend. So I want to step between the baddies and the people, and I'm going to use Channel Divinity, Divinity Radiance of the Dawn, which does damage to any enemy in the AoE and blinds them. So I'm going to try to, like, buy people time to get away by blinding and hurting these things. Interesting. Okay. And this is called, you said Solar Flare? It's called Radiance. <laughs> yes. It's called Radiance of the Dawn. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, I don't... <laughs> no, you had it right. It was Solar Flare. It's Solar Flare. But, but, it, but, it, but it is effectively... So 30 foot, no. you said 30 foot, right? Uh, yeah, it's a 30 foot uh, bubble. And it's it's a it's a con saving throw for any hostiles in that. All right, I'm just going to do kind of a two group. Okay, they don't. All that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> okay, so here's what I imagine. The group has gotten together. Uh, you hear the screams, and everyone's running, and you're trying to get to wherever this new agent is taking you. Lucian's torn. He turns around and runs back in. And what you'll see as you run back in is that the Goliath is holding up uh, some man just by his throat, and the man takes a fireball into his hand and shoves it into the, the Goliath's chest. But the fireball you see just kind of absorbs into his skin. And then the Goliath takes his own fist, points it right on top of the guy's head with his other hand, and you see it just melt him. And then he drops him to the ground. That is when Lucian um, casts this extremely bright light within 30 feet. And what it's going to do is is all of those uh, creatures will will fall to a knee and stand up but almost like they they're then they're like frozen for a moment and everyone's still people are running by them and they're just kind of standing still and i'm like grabbing people and like just getting out of dodge you don't else want to do anything yeah balto will have followed him back because she's got her own reasons uh and it's just kind of like grumbling and cursing the whole way about how you know she thought she could draw them away clearly that didn't work um and go and like plant herself in front of these um these creatures the people and the monsters Mm -hmm. and draw her blade and just kind of like be ready to be like to attack them as soon as they start moving essentially okay now the whole party has stopped that is what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. William mm-hmm. grumbling. He goes to the We were running. Turns around. Sees this invading force. Sees this Same flash energy. of light goes off. She's ready to fight. No, that's the, mm, that's not going to work for me. I'm big, big coward energy. Um, I'm going to cast uh, Fog Cloud. Um about we'll say 30 feet in front of the our new agent bell toll and it is a 60 foot radius um so she's gonna be a little bit in that cloud but it's a big old fog cloud and then i'm gonna shout can we run now as i cast fog cloud if you can get your teammate to leave these people then sure otherwise we're here Uh, i yeah i think Simultaneously, kind of the last. We should. We can leave with them. We can help them leave. We don't have to go that way. We can go this way. I'll help direct the crowd that way, just to help Lucian get moving. This fall cloud settles. Just, she's gonna wait until Lucian's ready to to leave. So, like she's just Lucian, standing as, here. As soon as she's as, a fence. As soon as they started frozen, Lucian grabbed like a baby under each arm and started running. <laughs> Small child, whatever. An old lady, maybe. That's my know. mama. That's my mama. <laughs> <laughs> you getting beat by the wrong mom. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so once the crowd starts clearing out, like, she'll leave. She just wants to continue to be between where the enemy is and the crowd. She doesn't want that to distract us again, right? 
you'd rather be the first mm. one hit than an innocent. The fog drops down into this, uh, it starts to drop down into this crowd with these creatures who have stopped. Um, and they look like people, the pe- different races you've seen before, but they just have these this creepy smile and these eyes that are glowing. So no people, it's just glowing energy. And as the fog yeah, is just about to set, yeah. Lucian, you see it just as the fog settles. You see someone who reminds you so much. The look, and even kind of the look of fear that you've seen her have before, of Tasha. And then the fog sets. Ah. And she's trapped behind. She's the last person kind of trapped in behind this group because as she was she was getting knocked over as everyone was stampeding out and she's kind of just I'm sitting gonna, crying I'm gonna pass off the younglings that I have to anyone who looks strong enough to carry them and I'm gonna run back in for Tosh what are you talking about yeah I'm gone I'm and there. they're still standing still and so you make it to the girl and you pick her up and she's oh thank you sir and she's crying she's dirt covered she's kind of bleeding from her head where she's been pushed to the ground um, and she grabs onto your neck and buries her face uh, kind of in your shoulder. I'm just gonna, shh, shh, shh. It's okay. We're going to be okay. Come on, just just hold on tight. And I'm just going to book it. Um, a- a- as you're darting out, uh, the creatures begin to, to move very slowly again. And you're able to make it just past the, the, who would have been the first guy as you took to get this girl. They begin to move and they're walking slowly towards you again as you get everyone out to the exit. And there is a, there's a cart that's loaded up and uh, the girl calls out to someone on that cart or uh, vice versa. And she apparently knows them. Okay. It's a, a papa. Papa. Duncan. I'm a Mimi. Friendly, <laughs> friendly neighborhood butcher who <laughs> always used to give me the choicest scraps. I love you. And uh, I, I imagine you pass that, you pass her off. Yeah, for sure. And and people are yeah, running. Yeah. Uh, you can just see as far as you can see, people have been running, and whatever method they used to get here, they they are leaving this town. I I, I set her down and I, I slip her a, a, a lolly, <laughs> and I go back and try to. Yeah, you. So you're a stranger yeah. who just gave her candy. I, okay, I, yeah, I, give, I give kids candy. Okay, it's and people thing. say people can say that's creepy, but fuck you if you don't want if you don't. I mean, think kids deserve a little treat. Before he joined the KG, he was 17. That should be fine, right? You're still well, a kid. Well, there's still, laws. Still a kid. We gotta still take still a kid. into still, account. Eh. Anyway, um, I'm gonna push Lucian back out of town, please and thanks. Let's run away. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, so you you can travel the main road for a while, and I think you do. I think everyone should kind of travel this, this well-beaten path um, that would lead back up to the northwest, kind of toward where the port is. Uh, city is that brings you in onto this continent. But you break away. Um. Yeah. And you and you begin to take this kind of off beaten path that definitely no one has has been traveling. Yeah, so after getting you guys out of the city and getting you to leave, uh Beltol will take the uh the lead again and lead you guys off of the main road and off into the wilderness. Just kind of like grumbling the whole way. You mean you came yourself. from the KNG this whole time and we're still walking? Why do I, why have when do we teleported away? I'm against walking. Yeah, well it's not that easy. That But why not? Situations like this, you gotta get to a safe house before you can teleport. Hmm. What, you want to take some of those things back with us? I uh, sure, why not? The KNG seems uh, quite uh, powerful. I don't... You're saying they couldn't handle it? Do you know what's affecting those people? Or how that's working? Or if it's contagious? Or what's going on? Oh, gods, no. But I know that I don't want them to eat me, so... Yeah, so why don't we take them back to, you know... Where, where all really the most powerful, powerful people, people I've ever met be. are? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yes, please. Let him be contagious there. It it's fine. Don't Great worry plan. about it. Anyways, how far is the safe house from here? My my feet are killing me. 
Devin, how far is this? You would know. It's probably about. It's only about five more miles from where you're at. Okay, almost there. Just Uh, five more miles. Oh, sorry, he doesn't know that. Damn it. He he stops moaning. (laughs) Uh... (laughs) No, I said he stops audibly moaning. I know, but I imagine like before that, like before he, you had to mention stopping that it was oh, just like... Oh, for sure. Uh, yeah, he has been complaining yeah. this whole time. <laughs> you know, I've gotten pretty used to being the only child in a group, but this is actually kind of comforting. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> now give her a lolly. <laughs> I do offer her a lolly. <laughs> <laughs> she like looks at it. And like uh, considers for a moment. Molasses you. And then we'll like kinda like take it, but it's like a swipe. You know, it's not like a gentle take, it's just like I'm not out. taking it cause cause you want me to. Oh, it's gonna I'm not so taking it because I want it. I'm me. taking it because you don't need uh, it. When we become best friends down the line, it is gonna feel so good. Oh, cause we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to overcome this wall. So that when I get over <laughs> it, it's gonna be personally rewarding for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think if you guys don't have any other questions for for this new agent, I can take you to that safe. Yeah, house. you know, while we're sitting here, almost coming to this um, safe house, yeah, can we take um, a can we take a short rest, maybe? Um, yes. No, I'm okay. Great, let's fucking give me all my spell slots back, baby, baby. <laughs> I get a lot back on a short rest. <laughs> I love that. The, the warlock of the party is like, uh, oh, wait, we're resting? Okay, okay. Nice. Sorry, then. Well, I, you know, the last time <laughs> I stood still, I had a boulder thrown on me, so I'm not, not keen on the idea. That's a nice boulder. A nice I, I wanted to say nice, it the man. whole time you we've been have. saying fucking let's boulders. Go back. Let's cancel right. Let's stop right now and go back. Let's rewind. <laughs> no, I think uh, Miss B will keep watch because she doesn't need to regain anything special during a short rest. Um, just occasionally looking up because summer will be up around flying uh otherwise she's just gonna make sure the boys are safe for now yeah yeah on the real though um who are you with and why should we trust you yes you little girl kind of like looks at him and like raises an eyebrow just uh she'll pull out um they have like um like badge insignias right yeah mm-hmm. so yes, usually can. like each each agent will kind of figure out where how they want to you know put that if it's like a wallet flip or if it's like on a bandana on the underside of it so you kind of can just flavor up however you want yeah hers is just kind of um it's 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 like a wallet flip, but it's just kind of like shoved in a pocket somewhere <laughs> and like pulls out and like some pocket lint falls out too and like shoves the wallet at him. Um, and, you know, inside you see it's the KNG credentials, like insignia, and it shows that she's a level. Uh, she's a rank. So it, it's five? a V Roman numeral. She's rank, rank V. Five? So the dumb way I made things, it's one, two, three Roman numerals and it jumps to five and then to ten. So those, those are your oh, ranks. Okay, great. <laughs> So, uh, William skeptically is going to raise up his rod of detect magic to it. <laughs> is it magical? It detects magic. Oh, you know what? This checks out. Did I do that right, Dwayne? Am I playing this right? Am I playing this game right? Because- you did. I mean, it's okay. all, it always detects <laughs> you magic. because it it's right. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> this checks out. Appreciate this. <laughs> to like take it back from him whenever he's he's done with it just mm-hmm. yep seems legit I'm not sure whether it's Lucian. a child but looks at Lucian nope you know what I am sure actually Lucian is just like <sighs> sitting on the ground with his like arms wrapped around his knees bandana down cigarette hanging from his mouth unlit just like real sad boy times for Lucian uh, Miss B, roll a perception check for me. Yeah, sure. See if you see him crying. No one sees my tears. That's why. I, that's why I wear this bandana. Ooh, they're this made of beautiful. light. It can only absorb uh, so much. Nat twenty. 
So 25, please, and thanks. Uh, you guys have made your way into a wooded area. I would suppose you wouldn't be out in the open. Uh, but I don't want to put that wooded area on you. No, I think we'd be getting we off the We're in the trail, wilderness sure. looking for the safe house, so uh, yes. And Hopefully yeah. it's a wooded area. Miss B, <laughs> you guys are, are maybe uh, sitting, standing, I don't know, which, but you're, you're relaxing, I'd say, because you're taking a short rest, kind of in a, in a comfortable position. But Miss B is, is kind of encircling, almost instinctively, motherly, uh, around this in, in a larger radius. And you hear the shuffle of, of leaves, and you and you quickly look over, and you see a small mechanical spider sitting on it, like on the side of a tree. A fucking again, Miss B is just gonna flick one of her daggers at it, <laughs> just toss uh, it. Uh, yes, let me roll to see what happens. Well, I can roll a dagger. Probably gonna be probably gonna be a ranged attack there, homie. Well, good thing she can do ranged stuff. I'm just I'm just it, it would probably be an attack roll just to hit that thing's AC. Uh, and do that as well. <clears throat> this is gonna be an eleven. <laughs> just do it, everyone. Uh, no. So it. Uh, I think maybe you can see almost like the camera that is inside. It's so there's maybe like a shell. Like a, uh, a darker color casing over the top of this, but you're able to still see through what's in it. So you see some of the gear pieces inside, and there's like this this camera inside, and it's the lens is opening and closing as you move around. Uh, and as you throw the dagger, it quickly moves out of the way, and then it scampers up the tree, and it, extremely tall tree into the into the brush, and is gone. <laughs> she'll like go over to the tree and pick up her dagger and like continue moving on for this watch I mean so like we're still awake this is a short rest are you, are you, you alright Miss B making a lot of noise over there I saw one of those spider things again um uh, you what you want to refresh my memory? Spider things? Do you remember when we were out camping and I stabbed a thing and it was gears everywhere? Mm-hmm. During yeah. the shit mm-hmm. mission? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I remember the shit all over my shoes for sure. Yep. Well, good thing we have magic to take care of it, but we're not walking mm-hmm. in shit right now, so there's that. Sure, uh, sure, sure. And so yeah, one no. of these spiders. Yep, just saw another one. It scampered away. Hmm. Is this the thing that Beltol would have ever heard about happening yep. before? Cool. Is this the thing that uh, Lucian would have ever heard about happening before? It has happened to you. Well, <laughs> other than the other instance, so no. <laughs> other than what's already happened. To you. <laughs> <laughs> did, did maybe Breeze right. tell me about this in the cave? No. He's like, if you ever see robot spiders, you know what that means. No, he didn't. That was not one of the conversations you had. He didn't feel it pertinent. A lot of those conversations were without we words. Did, so, I so needed just a, like a a journal, like a voice journal for like day <laughs> we'll four. We'll do it. Me and you, we'll do, we'll do it. We'll sit down and we'll have fun. Uh, you what a hear in that journal. A scree! <laughs> or whatever sound Summer makes. All the pages are sticky. Uh, as It'd you, owl. I think, click over She's an and, owl. and see... That those those figures are still pursuing, and they're about a mile behind you. Oh, good, good news. We need to get going. <laughs> Bad news. The guys from town are following. Let's go. Neither of those What's seem good like news? good news. They're not following so. the people. They're not following the people. That's See, good I- news. Mm, you and I, I are more were- different. I well, they weren't before, but and, yeah, let's yeah, we should go. <laughs> Looks at tiny child, please lead the way wherever we're going. I want to say which one. Yeah, but come I'm on, this way. So, like, well, I get it. that's that's Starts a fair. Walking off. I wouldn't get that question. Yeah, I follow. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and yeah, I, 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 Lucian, the young adult. 
of legal voting rights. <laughs> I think <laughs> child. <laughs>you finished reading that book you were working on and now you feel lost as to what to read next well i have the cure this episode of lawful stupid is sponsored by the author of the shadowed star series that's shadowed with an ed at the end the shadowed star series by stephen Kautz. this series is an epic science fiction series that has a mature flavor stephen plans to release eight total books On the 20th of each month, you can catch a glossary entry or a short story that Stephen will release to the public. You can find those at shadowedstarsbooks.com. I will include the link to this in the show notes so you don't have to do any work to get there. What I do think is really cool about this series is that the odd number books will follow a particular line of characters and the even numbered books as they come out will follow a different set. So there are going to be a lot of crossovers and cameos in each book, and that is really cool. Book one is currently available. Book two of the Shadowed Star series, The Reign of the Black Guard, will be out by the end of June. And book three of the Shadowed Star series, The Children of Home, will be coming out soon. If you're like me and you like to have a physical book, you can turn pages and, God forbid, dog ear the pages. Well, paperbacks are available. But if you're like my fellow friend and podcaster, Dwayne, and think that anything paper is for the devil, you can get the ebook through any bookstore or on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Google Play, and iTunes. And if you go to shadowedstarsbooks.com, you will find the links directly to those vendors that I just mentioned. And if you forgot them, hit the rewind 15 seconds button and you'll be close. Again, I'll put the links on the show notes so you don't have to search very hard to get there. But if you want to search the author yourself, it's important to note that his last name is spelled K-O-U-T-Z. I said Kautz, K-O-U-T-Z. Steven is also active on Instagram and Twitter, and his handle on both of those is Shadowed Stars BK. I'm also going to include his Facebook link in the show notes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, go pick up Shadowed Star series. I plan on reading the first book very soon. I hope you'll join me in that. Once again, that's the Shadowed Stars series. Thanks for listening. I think you're getting it. Uh, you're, you're, you're scooting now. Okay. Uh, maybe out of fear. We're what, boot scooting. You're boot scooting and boogieing all the way to what looks like just another section of the woods. But... um. This new agent walks over to a tree larger than, than the rest that are surrounding it. And you inscribe almost with your, just like one of your swords, a symbol. And that symbol begins to glow and turns into a wooden door. And then she like, Opens the door and gestures them in. Yeah, and so this you all walk trick. in. You all walk mm-hmm. in, um, and, and as you walk inside, it is a it's a large room, a large square room. I'd say fifty by fifty. There's and there's not. It's unfurnished. It's just mm-hmm. blank room. And I need uh, Lucian, Miss B, and William to roll a, just a flat D twenty for me. No, wait. Let's do this. Let's do some of your feats. Let's do some of your things. Um, this would probably be a charisma check. Oh, cool! Just a check, cool. Or, or cool. So that 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 would be that would be a performance or persuasion or I mean, intimidation. I think it's straight up. Like that's, well, yeah. I think it's straight up charisma. I think I don't know how I don't have a okay. good one of those. Doesn't quite fit it. Okay. Yeah, well, and one, yeah, after no. we roll it, maybe you can make a case for why, and I'll we'll see what your rolls. Sure. I right, rolled a five. Okay. That's an 11. William rolled a nine. Okay, Miss B. <clears throat> and here, let me make, let me tell you this. So maybe you can correct me. So this is, this is a DM learning things about Dungeons and Dragons. Sure. I, I the thing is, I, and you'll explain, and she'll explain this in a minute, obviously, but um, the person with the strongest personality 
will have the room at these safe houses become how they would decorate it. Very much like your rooms are, the safe houses oh, okay. are yeah. like that. So whoever has like the strongest that. personality. The training room. Yes. But essentially, yeah, like, what do I need? A, a room of uh, requirements. Uh, requirements. Yeah. So I don't, so for me, it was like rolling a charisma for you because kind of like strong personality. So I don't know if there's something else you think you would. No, I think that's perfect. I think that's a good one. All right. So Miss B, what is this? So it doesn't have to be like a, what, how would you decorate a room like a living room or like a den? Because that's what this essentially would be. Um, For like a space for Miss B, like just general living area, it would be very lightly colored like pale purples if there's windows like it's the sheer white fabrics um elegant couches it's plush in a way uh, but like not too squishy where you fall back into the chair mm. um but like dark fabrics um almost velvety in a sense the woods dark um and sometimes like silvery uh accents to things there'll be like tons of paintings on the wall uh, like very classically painted mostly landscapes i love it and so you all see this begin things begin to pop up around you uh i imagine there's maybe like little teacups uh you know on a, on a fine table um yeah you know mo- plenty of seating arrangements whatever you kind of like with i think begin to pop up all around you I cool. think it's Once they're all in, she'll step inside and shut the door. <laughs> okay. And now you're just in. Uh, n- now we can teleport home? Yeah, yeah. It just, it takes a minute. And she'll start going through the process of that. Start drawing a circle. Not- anxiety. <laughs> I get out, it. Pulls out shock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how this process works. Well, but... Uh, Concern, Devin. No, no Devin, was, tell us how the process works. No, that was out of character. Okay, so Neko doesn't know how this in, process in works. In every safe house, <laughs> there is a machine, and it's pretty similar. And no matter who who does it, they just they are like they come standard with all the rooms. And there is a ticket that you get for every mission. When you go out on a mission, you get this one ticket. It's like a one way back uh, type of thing. So if you find a safe house, so instead of taking a train, they give you this ticket. It goes into the slot and it calls for you know, teleportation, like a one free get back home. But you're like in a mm. queue. And so you don't always get to go back just immediately. You kind of get like a yeah. message sent back to you that says, hey, it's your turn. And then you go stand on this portal that will appear and you're back. You are now 20th in yes. line. Yes. All of our oh, representatives are busy helping ticket. teleporting other customers. Listen, there's 15 mages <laughs> on duty at all times, or 15 wizards, <laughs> and they're the ones getting you back. So it's. And, and, and well, and it's funny because those 15 wizards are in a, are in a flying castle. That <laughs> yeah, they're in a other flying wizards castle. Yeah, fly. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now serving number um. 69. Zero, thank you for that. <laughs> nice. Got him. Yeah, so she'll go and put the ticket in this, in this machine and just kind of shrug a little bit and just, well, now I wait. Mm-hmm. Is it per safe house or per person? Per safe house. So she's kind of got the one yeah, for will. you guys to all get back. It's one per team. So, you know, considering they sent me to fetch all you guys, they'll probably take all of us. Here's open. Um, real quick question, um, Agent Beltor. Um, what the fuck were those things? Yeah, that's a great question. Oh, you don't know. You seem to know quite a lot earlier when you were saying they were following us. William shakes his pen vigorously. (laughs) Ashley, get out here! (laughs) What are you? What's that? What's that gesture look like again? One more time for me, Dwayne. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, man. You can stop now. He's making a masturbatory gesture. For I was. If you're not watching the I was VOD. Sent to figure out, I was sent to figure out what was going wrong. Why Why the hell you guys weren't responding to any of the contacts? To try to get you back. We need to talk to you. And I found all that mess going on. So I got you out. Said what I needed to say. What do you want me to do? 
I was just kind of hoping you would have answers. But uh, do appreciate the rescue. Don't misinterpret that at all. The walking, not a huge fan of, but not so important. Eshi, what the fuck were those things? I... I don't know. It's, it's so familiar. But I just can't place it. The, the, the magic, it feels... I, I know it, but I just don't know from where. I, I'm sorry, it's kind of making me feel to, uh, feel a weird way, even. I, I, I'm i going to go... Now nah, I don't Gross. feel very good. Okay, go back into your pen. I'll take it to a little... What's the rude thing to tell her? So as she's no, like she really said she wasn't strong, feeling though, right? good. But she's like really strong, though, right? Well, n- no, not really. She's missing like parts of her soul and body. But, but you're. Let me. I if I understand correctly, because you mm-hmm. told me this once. We mm-hmm. sat down and you you drew me a diagram. Mm-hmm. And so, you're strong because Eshi gives you some of her power. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're pretty strong. Hmm. All right. Debatable. Okay. You shot a laser that that rocket thing. I mean, you're pretty strong. I mean, you got moves. Sure. I've seen them. Uh, mm-hmm. So that means that she's even stronger than that because that's just your oh for sure a part of her power. So she's really strong. If only she could use it. Yeah. But my point is that if she's really really strong, and whatever mm-hmm. those things were made she feel the way that as she felt like bad like they hurt her they made her sick or whatever then they have to be really strong real quick question dm how does william feel uh william is unaffected that you know of so he doesn't feel any different no right Okay. Does your magic still work if she's not feeling well? Oh yeah, don't worry about that. That's fine. I uh, I can perform under pressure. It's fine. Yeah, because she's because she's really really strong. So even when she's sick, she can still yeah. But that's my, that's the point though. Is that that means that's really scary, right? Mm. Uh, no, I'm not that scared of it. Um. I'm scared of them in general. They're creepy as fuck. I'm waiting up for our choo-choo train out of here, actually. Thinking about it, do we recognize any of the weird people? Uh, no. We would not. Okay. I was just wondering. Take a little look at something actually here real quick. I think Miss B is just listening into their conversation but she's just kind of like looking at the paintings on the wall mm-hmm. having summer on her shoulder now uh and is there a fire here i feel like it wouldn't be completely like a fire i don't know if there was one or not she would have a fireplace for yeah, certain okay it it feels very good cool. you feel, you feel- i just sit next to it <laughs> i just sit in it <laughs> How does that feel, Eshi? No, next to How it. How does that? No, I'm just. Um, <laughs> I begin to drink from my never-ending alcoholic drink. You hear? Hey, um, oh, can, I, can I can I do a thing? Yes, sir. Uh, I like I'd like to cast a spell, um, augury. Ooh. Uh, so, I'm able to kind of light these candles, and it's like a way that I commune. Um, with Nova and it's kind of like a divination ritual where she can like make the flame brighter or dimmer based on uh, results. Like talking to you. So I can, okay. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a way for me to commune with her kind of like directly. Um, and so I describe a plan or a course of action uh, to Nova and Nova will using her omnipotence tell me uh, that you the dm will tell me uh wheel meaning that would be good for you whoa that would be bad for you wheel and whoa both good mm, and okay. bad or there's just no, okay. no, nothing it's just super totally neutral 
Uh, spell doesn't take into account any possible circumstances that might change the outcome, such as the casting of additional spells or the loss or gain of a companion. Just the ultimate result of your decision. Yeah, it's, 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 this is like a super flavorful spell, honestly, and I think every DM plays it differently, but I just wanted to kind of give you the once over the moon. Yeah, so what are you using? Well, I guess it says Jim and Late Sticks. Like, what, what are you using to... I use I'm flavor flavoring like that candles. Okay. Yeah, that's that. But yeah, you you can use it says yeah, gem and lead sticks, dragon bones, ornate cards. How many how many candles? Some it? other divining tool. Uh, we'll just say that it's uh three candles. It'll just be okay. like the the a wheel a woe and then a wheel and woe, and then if they all go out, that's a nothing. How about that? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Um. So as I'm preparing this ritual, I'm describing what I'm doing to my compatriots and why I'm doing it. Uh, and I'm just going to say, hey, so I figure maybe we can figure something out about these guys um, if we ask a question in the right way. Um, what do you guys think about that? Miss B will go Sounds join Lucian and be like, yeah, I'll play along. It's just going to really come down to um, what we want to ask and how we can ask it in the smartest way um, to, to learn the most. Um, so my first instinct was just ask, asking like, hey, if we were to go uh, leave this safe house and face those creatures, what would happen? Um, that would kind of give us an idea of how strong they are. Because if it was a wheel, it mean that we could take them and a wheel would mean that we couldn't. Um, Mm-hmm. And that was kind of the best question I could think of off the top of my head. But if you guys have any suggestions. No, that seems like a rather nice clever question. Dr. Enoch was here. He would know which question to ask. He would, he would know. know, he would know what to oh, maybe you can ask him with the the book. <gasps> maybe you can. You got your little black book? book. Did I have him do it? He did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, neat. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, I write in my book and I, I ask, I say, uh, Dr. Enoch, which question should we ask to get, should Lucian ask to get out of our predicament? Weird zombies plus safe room plus weird agent. And I write all this down, not say it out loud, because that's how it works. Squints. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna <laughs> give uh, Zebra as he's in this live recording a moment to to ponder it. Mm. Don't you wish you were a fucking patron right now? What a cool thing we're doing! What a cool thing we're doing right now! It's very fun. It's like a bigger than our just us game right now. Like, especially with the with, with to talk about the Discord roleplay channel for a minute. Like, it's even like another layer of like other people that are. Like kind of playing the game with us, and that's really cool. I like that. William reads his response in this book, and he says, uh, "Doctor uh, or Professor Peacock says, find a safe place to regroup. Ask Nova if you're safe where you are." It's a safe house is the problem. So I'm going to assume that based on the name, that's fine. You know what they say about assumptions. That they're they're the only thing you can do if you don't have solid information and it's your just best chance to make a decision. I agree. Yeah. So I, uh, I got a spell that works kind of the same way. Hmm. Um, it's not for gods, but it's not the point. Um, you might just be real specific when you ask your question. Like, not just, oh, are we are we safe here? It's like, hey, if we stay here until... If we stay here inside this house until we're able to leave, how's that going to work out for us? So that... Like, until the portal appears. And I, and I totally get that, but I'm operating on the assumption that that's already true because if it's not what are our other options right <laughs> so I'm going to ask it instead about our other option which would be if we went out and like confronted them yeah so I mean be specific if we go out 
and attack them if we go out and try to talk to them. You know. Okay. Okay, here's what I, here's what I'm gonna ask. Hey, Nova, it's me. Um, real quick. So, if we were to, instead of staying in the safe house and waiting for the portal and then going back to the KMG and going, hey, Ray, we did it. If we were to leave the safe house and instead um, go out and and confront these these uh, otherworldly beings from before, um, how would that how would that work out? How would that would that be a good call or like probably not? Uh, just let me know. I got the candles. So. Long pause <laughs> where some really ominous music kicks in right here. What what's your stance? Your 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 pose or posture while you're talking to Nova? Well, because it it, it used to be like a very like traditional like prayer stance like hands claps clasped together like on my knees um but ever since i've started training in martial arts and learned like meditation and key it's more like that it's more like uh legs crossed mm-hmm. like arms in a relaxed state and just kind of like meditating uh and william what is where are you currently in this room what are you doing uh last i checked i was uh, in front of the fireplace drinking and writing in my book <laughs> <laughs> and and he'll have his his uh, bandana down so that he can uh, watch the candles and see the response. Obviously, um, and you will note that anybody who's paying attention, his eyes are, are glowing full bright again. Miss B, what are you doing? Uh, she was sitting next to Lucian. I don't know if he's sitting on the floor or not, but she'd be sitting on the couch, like Maybe legs crossed, uh, hands folded in her lap. Kind of Legs watching cross the applesauce, of... okay? Imagine, imagine. No, that, no, like it, at the ankle, very ladylike. <laughs> yeah, of course, very ladylike. And if there was like a like if there was like a coffee <laughs> table, um, in between like these couches, Lucian would be sitting like crisscross in a meditative stance with the candles like in front of him, all three laid out on the coffee table and lit. Agent Belltoll, what are you doing? Yeah, she's gonna like after Lucian's like, cool, that's a great question. I'm going to not ask that and went and totally asked something different. Uh, it's just going to like sigh, very irritably, just <sighs> do everything myself around here. I'm just going to go over it like off to some it's okay. it's, spot and start casting clear. I'm going to fucking cast Augury, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's all of it. No, yeah, absolutely. She's going to remove the chain that's wrapped around her sword and lay it out in a fancy like like circular pattern with like there's these two like kind of clasps that go in the middle and then like a, another medallion sort of on the top so it's like there's these three medallions kind of laid out in a triangle pattern and then cast the very same spell and ask her questions like hey if we just stay here and don't leave until the teleportation cir- circle appears how's it going to turn out for us that's awesome that, yes that is the best case scenario I didn't know that you could actually just cast Augury as well that's perfect because now we know everything. <laughs> Who asked whose question first? I uh, think Lucian would have started casting his spell. It cost it takes eleven minutes to cast spells a ritual. Yeah, uh, so I think you've got your setup, and, and perhaps you've had this conversation about oh, what question, what's going to work best, and she starts layers out as you're already at the, you've asked your question, and like a wind blows through the room and cuts out each candle in line and even the fireplace goes out I cast vegetation to relight the fireplace <laughs> and it comes back on I want to stay warm and then so you ask your question which is if we just stay here inside and don't go out that door until the teleportation circle appears how, how good is that going to be for us so the candles in very much that tone so she's not at all nearly as formal about we're not candle yeah, anymore your now, now we're in chain town yeah we're in chain town mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> your metals they can either glow or flip I'm just saying I, I think that they all flip the tails, <laughs> if you have a tails, and then two of them flip back to heads. 
I don't know if that's like a life. good luck or bad luck for you. So uh, we're going to assume that your character thinks that heads is good luck or like better. It's better than tails. Well, so it's, cool. it's wheel, woe, wheel and woe or no response. So it was wheel and woe. So it was a good. Okay. Okay. Because the candles all went out on Lucian's thing, it's no response. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no, that would have been... So, so hey, so just for... So the way that it would be set up is that there are three candles. The one, we'll say the one on the left would be wheel. The one on the right would be woe. The one in the middle would be wheel and woe. Oh, see, I thought they were like something... Okay, I misunderstood and, and, that. And, and they're, all lit. Yeah. They're, they're, all, they're all lit, and the one that the answer is will shine bright to indicate oh. that's the correct oh, answer. Oh, I was just trying to think. But like, if there was oh. no answer, they'd all go out. Gotcha. So so you're saying that it's just the woe one would shine bright. That would be a, that would be a bad move. Yes. And so for years, I was trying to do dramatic effect, like how bad it would be because they all oh, went okay. out, even the yeah. fireplace. That that That's what that, that is the, what I got across. Like no answer, yeah, like so no answer, like don't even fucking think about it. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, that's the message I received from my guy was, don't you even fucking think about it. Stop. Yes. <laughs> that's what I assumed too. I was like, oh, that's bad. Same. Not good. Uh, yeah. And um, just as like you, you get a response, your co- your coins flip. Uh, there's a bright flash outside, and the tr- top of this tree that you're in is is ripped apart as the stone giant is peering in at you and begins to reach in. And then you uh, see no, 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 something no, 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 no. go through his head, one side out the other. Fucking train. And the giant falls to the ground out of sight. No, it's, it's, and then the know. door at the front shouldn't have opened, and it opens up. And you see a figure, and he says, uh, nice digs. <laughs> we're already doing so our cool. secret handshake. We're already, we're already so doing our secret cool. handshake, yeah, me and Breeze. We have a secret handshake now, and we're doing it. Uh, and that's what we're in the episode. <laughs> Nice. Um, thank you, everyone, for listening to this episode. Um, I'm not going to go any further. I love you so much. Hell yeah. Hey, if you want to support the show, um, you can go to sort all off stupid.org. You can get some stickers. You better get your stickers now because Lucian is a change in. Mm. And I don't imagine they'll be the same way. <laughs> For much you know longer. me and my costume changes. <laughs> you know, you know how I gotta do it. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, you can get the the stickers. We're gonna have show. to update Lucian for True. sure. Yeah. Fact. And that and that's and that's just two point oh. Mm-hmm. We know what the, who does the future holds. He's got a whole life ahead of him. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll you'll get we'll get another six episodes in, Devin, and then you know Shane. I want to just go full cleric again. It's fine. Yeah, please. Can I re roll like a Well, we have four phases you're allowed <laughs> to take in this campaign. We've talked about it. You can four changes anytime you want. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, I guess I'll hey, go. Man. Operation yeah. this hey, Operation Longo. Surf, this is actually the last month. <laughs> I fucked it up last time. This is last month for Operation More Surf. More money. Who cares? Yeah. More money for them. Hell yeah, let's go with a... 12! $12. Hey, Operation Surf, it's a really good, uh, good thing to do, and you should contribute to that when you roll for humanity at the games that you play, because that's the best way to end a session. Everybody gets together. I mean, you don't even have to carry that burden alone. You play with four people, everybody can chip in and just cover the roll, and then you all did something cool together. And when you do... Tell me about it. Tell me what you rolled and tell me who you gave it to, and I'll be very excited. And I'll you know, kiss you on the mouth, maybe. Hey, you should join us at uh, patreon.lawfulstupid.org. That way you can participate in all these fun things. Neko, I didn't know if you wanted to plug anything. This is not your last episode, by the way. Uh, maybe, perhaps, next episode might be, but I forgot to ask you if you wanted to plug anything. Or just uh, your own purposes. No selfish not reasons. Particularly. I'm just. I just be chilling. Um, hey, guess what? If you become a patron, you can do this too. Hey. <laughs> hey. Be like me. Be like me. Yeah, go to you can create a patreon.lawfulstupid.org. Plug it <laughs> in again. Just fucking, <laughs> Avon, just got, Avon just got her fucking you heels can, uh, up. Avon's just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
can create your very own character to come in here and either antagonize or befriend the three heroes. Mostly both. <laughs> good. Uh, and I'll leave you with this good news story. Uh, Google flies in to help Girl Scouts with cookie sales shortfall, delivering thousands of boxes via drone. What Google doesn't tell you and what this story doesn't tell you is each time they delivered these cookies, they took 75% of the profit. Uh, they've also reverse engineered the recipe and put the Girl Scouts out of business. Nobody does the Girl Scouts anymore. They just go to the Google Play Store on their Android phones. Um, and if they have iPhones, they don't use it because they're better than that. They go to the Girl Scout cookies. The real Girl Scouts. Well, that's not even close to true. Um, let me tell you what really happened. <laughs> what really happened is, hey, Google. Who's their natural enemy? The Amazon? Exactly right. Girl Scouts? First go. Their natural, oh, okay. nope, their natural Girl enemy Scouts? is Amazon. So... I have, you'll, and you'll see the link in the show notes here. Um, it's a link to a catalog of photographs, 114 photographs taken of uh, people that enjoy Girl Scout cookies, and they're all holding uh, Google phones. Let me tell you why. Because Google, they made a little deal with those Girl Scouts. And they gave them technology that made them so, so delicious. Like more than cookies should be, because they're the cutting edge of Google tech. <laughs> and they put nanobots inside of those cookies, and we eat them <laughs> by a Google phone and not use Amazon. Uh, oh, I and, thought. And, and, and they made a. I thought you said makes you want to eat them. I didn't know what you meant. And they made a. He did, but investment. I thought he meant the girl. <laughs> it makes you want to be a cannibal. That's what I'm saying. They, they made I a sizable like, Jesus. investment. Google made a sizable we'll get rid of these girls in, in this. Oh jeez! Okay. I guess a whole new meaning to the tag along cookies. Guys, he's still talking. Google made a sizable investment in order to uh, cripple uh, their their only natural enemy, Amazon. And when they did that, uh, they had to protect it. So when they heard about what was happening, the Girl Scouts, they had to become involved. They had to bail them out, not because they're heroes and not because they wanted, you know, young girls to learn about entrepreneurship but because they had to protect their investment. Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> what you got, no, Bob? What I got? Uh, what if... <laughs> I'll, I'll change it up. Um, the KNG decided to take over the Girl Scouts, and they're the new sponsorship of all of this. Oh. So now we've got Oh, magic. same thing. we got now we weird zombie shit going on. We apparently mm. eat the girls now too, but it, it's well, all good because the Girl Scouts that. get the profits because Lucian wouldn't let kids not have all the good things in life. So no. we're good, good, win, win. <laughs> Those that survive, yeah, profit, profit, baby. <laughs> cool. Uh, thank you, Girl Scouts, for sponsoring this episode. Dear life, and as usual, we say thanks for listening. And until next time, we love you. Bye. 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 Sorry, Jinj, for more work, but... Uh, hey guys, it's Abon. As a fun surprise in this uh, good year of 2021 for the month of June only, we have limited edition Lawful Stupid Pride shirts and stickers available in our store. So go and check it out at store.lawfulstupid.org. It has Lucian, Miss B, and William with cute little rainbow hearts and flags. So you should go get them before they're gone. Okay, love you. Bye.